Hello, welcome back. You're noisy. Go sit somewhere else here. Hang out with that snail. Uh, last time I tried really hard to do something and it just refused to happen. So, um, that took too long and I didn't like that. So, um, if things take too long today, I'm not going to persist quite as hard, uh, because I need my free time for other things. Anyway, so I've been uh, told that I somehow didn't actually manage to read Hundun's journal entry here, so let's make sure that's actually happened. I was sure I did, but you're probably right. Maybe I didn't. Where are you at? Hundun. The muddled dreamer Hundun. The cosmic egg Hundun. The majestic child Hundun. The unstoppable Hundun. Okay. I guess I didn't. Ah, uh, I read the, the text for Hundun's lair and mixed that up with the... The thing itself. Hideaway. Right. Muddles about. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, so most of the stuff that I'm interested in is there in the Sunken City or whatever it's called. Uh, so, yeah, I just kind of have to keep going at this. But, you know, if it doesn't happen today, I'm not going to try so hard to force it just because that's gets to be too miserable. And I want to enjoy this game, and most of the time I do. I just have to accept that not every day will let me do what I most want to do in it. Uh, I have still a few things to investigate outside of that endgame zone. Um, I could fight all my friends and see what it's like to, you know, have a battle with the Jungle Sisters and uh, Van Horsing, people like that. Um, may do that at some point. You can probably tell what I'm trying to do with this bat here. Should be obvious enough. And not too hard to do. So yeah, let's just play a game and see what happens. Uh, see what the generation gives me. If I get an eggplant opportunity, I'll take it. If I don't, then I won't be too broken up over it. Could go in there and get a torch, but that's not of much use to me, really. Okay. So yeah, plan is still to route the same way through... Uh, Volcana and the other places that connect to it. Um, I can only ever remember the name of one of those zones at a time. Temple. Temple of Anubis. And Volcana. Where are the places I'm going to be going? I could switch back to Jungle because I feel like I might have a slightly easier time with that. Maybe just because of... Uh, because of... Um, black market supplies and stuff. Because, like, power-ups are pretty important in this game. Um, especially the ones I get from that thing just above my head here. So I really want to make sure I interact with that. Okay, so my understanding of your rules is that you will go down two tiles from there and not break through the floor. Mm -hmm. Prediction came true. I could Golden Monkey. Um, I hear a hamster, and I will do whatever it takes. What it takes is going to be a bomb to get it to that altar. Um, does that shop have anything that would let me not spend a rope? It sure does! Check it out! All right. So, uh, given what this game has presented to me, this is gonna be a stealing run. And that can be okay, because I know how to handle that. All right, so I'll come out of there with a jetpack and bombs. Um, be nice if these turkeys could live to be sacrificed. So this is probably about the safest place I can stash them, I guess. That caveman, too. I can probably arrange that. Just don't look over here for now. Uh, I will have to bomb. And if I'm bombing... Okay, I don't think I'm golden monkeying. If I'm bombing, I'm going to do it way in the corner so that the hamster is out of range of the explosion. And you should be safe, too. Caveman, you can just run around there and be angry if you want. Just don't get in my way. Alright, I'm going to take this out of here. Let you find a new place to be, or not. If you want to just stay there, that's also fine. Oops, I bumped into you. Yep, that was me, I did it. Oh, well, he blew up his bomb box and died. All right. Um, okay, you're not, there's no way you're ever getting there alive. You might, though. So I don't think that counts as me having killed him. So that's gonna count as, oh, you died too. Okay, well, whatever. I took a lot of damage, um, but I'm on my way to a Kapala, so I think it'll ultimately be okay. Too much time has gone by for me to, for Golden Monkey to make sense. I just need to zip through here with uh, 
you. And yeah, I'm going to sacrifice these turkeys. I believe turkeys are probably worth two points each alive. Haven't had a perfect opportunity to measure exactly, but that is uh, my current impression. And I don't really care what's in Yang's cache. Uh, there will be a shopkeeper corpse. I just died, didn't I? Sure did! <laughs> well, that was well planned. Okay, well, that's what happened. You know what? This gives me a chance to not steal stuff. Maybe I'll get a better shop. Like, jetpacks is nice, but it comes at such a price. Either monetarily or... Uh... Criminally. And I'm going to Volcana anyway, and I would absolutely swap a jetpack for a Vlad Cape, so it would only help me, like, on the way to Vlad's castle, not beyond. Then again, jetpack was pretty nice. Okay, don't be anywhere vaguely near that thing. It's a bad idea. Uh, jetpack was pretty nice for me. I'll try this jump. Okay, I don't have to do that jump. Uh was pretty nice for me when I was in Sunken... Why does Sunken City sound wrong? It shouldn't, because that's what it is. Uh, but I don't know, that was on a jungle route, so I didn't have a chance to get the red cape, so I guess I just like haven't really had that there to know what it's like. So yeah, gonna learn. Uh, anything super cool in here? I can see the vault there, sure. I'll take a torch, sure. Okay. Uh. Uh. That'll do. I see that mole and I'd like it dead before I move on just because it's a little too... Really? That wasn't a land on you? It should have been. But it wasn't. Alright, so key right with a curse pot there. What an arrangement. Okay, how am I going to deal with this? Probably by smashing that pot and just letting the ghost be. Okay, paste bombs. I guess actually here's the safe way to do it. Should have done that earlier. I wasn't really looking at where that key was. Just didn't even register until I was down below. Weirdly, this is the first curse pot that I've interacted with today. That is uncharacteristic. Uh, where am I taking this key? I don't know yet. It's... yes I do. It's going to be down behind... no, it's not behind that shop. It's farther down. So behind that shop is a hamster, and I'm just gonna have to be okay with not... oh geez. Uh, having that thing. And I am okay with that. Alright, paste is important. I really would like those bomb boxes. So I'm just gonna deal with the consequences of that. I'll take one of them at least. It'll be fine. <laughs> he says as if this is not how he died last time. Alright, um... You know what, let's play the safe way and just go and ignore everything. Don't interact with the level. Unless the level involves an altar. That's the important thing to interact with. I want to peek over there. That is not an altar chunk, okay. Oh, big snake right in my face. <laughs> Dog. Trapped in a wall. These pets keep managing to do that somehow. Um, you know what? You're a pain to take along. And I have a torch in my hand, so I'm just going to use it that way. One of the many uses for turkeys. So, while this seed so far has been a lot better for survival... By the way, speaking of seeds, there was a game update that happened which broke everything seed-related. So, you remember seed 137. I went back there to do something and it was completely different. You remember seed 0A that was so good for everything. I went back there to do something and it was completely different. I'm like really not okay with this. Because basically, in a game update, due to some level generation change, every level that has ever existed for this game was destroyed and was replaced with something else. 
And I think that is terribly tragic. So I wish that form of game update didn't happen. Stuff like this is why I'm like super not okay with auto updates in games. I've done as much as I can to turn them off for this game, but this game is only on Steam, and Steam is like super aggressive about auto updates. All I can say is an option to um, to only install once I actually launch the game, and the hope is that when it downloads an update without my consent, which it's just gonna do because it's Steam, uh, that I can at least say, hey, don't install this right now. Uh, when I really mean don't install it forever until I'm done with the LP and can change stuff like that, but no. It's just gonna be really annoying about it. So yeah, if I find a good seed, I've taken measures to actually maybe preserve it now. Hopefully. Quillback, I don't want to blow up your bombs, so when I throw I want to be sure you're not already dead. I was fairly certain there, and I do see you currently alive. One of those landed. Parachute in the wall, how about that? Not interested. Still alive. Not anymore. Alright, Volcano, that's where I'm going. Uh, I saw a cat once. <laughs> uh, and there it is. I'll take you with me, sure. Wait, no, that involves a drop, and I'd have to rope back up. No thanks, I'll pass. Let's bring fire to a volcano. That sure will come in handy. Uh, nothing else here that I want. Alright, let's go. Hey, Leprechaun. I have something hard in my hand, and I can do things to you with it. Clothing. Um, if I waited, you might just die to magma dudes. But that's not necessary because I can afford everything I want here. No reason to buy a cape because I'm about to get one anyway. A better one than that. What cave is this? This is neither key nor... well, it is a key. That's a weird key cave. They don't normally look like that. I suspect this means that more than one key has generated. Yes, it has. Okay, so altar here. Um, oh boy, things very complicated. There's uh, another key down there. I might have to come back for this one if that's not the right one, though. Or if I... if I. Uh, oh, shoot. Well, problem solved? Oh, Spelunky, why are you like this? An opportunity for an eggplant has presented itself. So I think we're gonna do that and see if we can somehow make something happen here. Um, I happen to bomb over here and get into a backside where a ton is selling spring shoes for 4,500. This backside connects to Yang's place. Let's see how much money there is down here. Not that much. Uh, yes, that much actually. As much as I needed. Spring shoes are super worth it. Hey, right, egg planting now. Um, I would like some other stuff that's in that shop, but I don't think I'll be having it because the money's just not here. All right, got a super fragile item in my hands now. Let's see what I can do with that. Turkeys don't make me drop things, so this should be fine. All right, eggplant. Get off turkey, put down eggplant, because otherwise it might break. Key, yes, I do want that, of course. Um, yeah, so now I have a thing in my hand. And it's going to stay in my hand for a while. I'm going to hide in here for a moment. Get those bats a little farther away. Spider's there, and that's fine. I'll have invincibility. Eggplant runs are actually kind of cool. They, uh... They make me have to be careful about things in ways I usually don't have to be, and that's interesting. I'm glad I don't have to do, like, all this dance all the time, but doing it every once in a while is kind of a fun little break from the rest of the way the game is. I'd take a Maddock if I had a free hand. I sure do not. 
All right, do I have any idea where this is going yet? Okay, I can see it from here. It's down two chunks from here, basically. Oh, Turkey, you were in the way of the eggplant. Who put you there? <laughs> okay, uh, you, just roll out of my way. Or, well, you're never gonna do that, huh? All right. That worked out. Okay, now don't roll there, because there's a fragile eggplant. Okay, so that's where Key's going. Um, sure, don't need to be there. I only have two hearts right now, and that's less than I'd like to have. Eggplant, get safer. You get less safe and more dead, please. There we go. Oh wait, I have spring shoes. I don't need your help right now, Turkey. Yeah. Well, okay, you go to the, down there then. No, that's not here. It's down. Right, it's down. Keep forgetting. I keep seeing the uh, the bottom of that shop and thinking it's where I'm taking the key, but it's not. All right, eggplant, safe over here. Rock out of. Uh, I almost just pecked it out of the way. So yeah, only theory as to what to do with the eggplant at this point is to put it on that Moai altar. Like, I won't know until I actually try it whether that does anything. And like, that thing doesn't do anything else I know about, eggplant doesn't do anything else that I know about. Like, Yama's not here. Uh, there's no way I could get it to Osiris, which is the closest Yama equivalent I currently know of. Uh, gotta go, by the way. Uh, could theoretically take to Tiamat and maybe it would do something, but probably nothing all that exciting. I don't know, maybe. Um, so yeah, just because the eggplant, the eggplant, the Moai altar is purple. That is my leading theory right now. Okay. And yeah, like, the ghost came there because I took a bunch of time because this is a slow process. I have to be careful and think about alternate ways of doing things. Because I just... Having an extra thing in my hand is one thing. Having an extremely fragile thing in my hands is, like, even more of a thing, you know? Should have taken my torch down here. Okay, so still gonna Volcana. I'm not changing that. You didn't roll. How unusual. I guess that was a different angle than I usually throw at you from. I do currently have a pitcher's mitt. So this will hit. Why did I choose to do it that way? I don't know. It was safe. Ooh, spike shoes. Nice. Okay, not everything is open yet. You need to come, 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 roll. And then I'll stomp in your head, in theory, somehow. Well, not there I won't. Here I can. What? Really? That happened? Interesting. All right, well, there goes the eggplants. All right, Volcano. So I'm kind of playing in the uh, safer, more fun way to play this game at the moment. Just go fast, don't interact with the level. Uh, there was an idol there that I could totally get. Here's a key. I have a skeleton key already, though, so I have no reason to pick this up. Great, okay. So having a skeleton key is a... Okay, well... You know, that's fine. Yang Angry at me is only a problem for this specific level. Uh, as long as he doesn't kill me here, that just means I get some free turkeys and uh, ropes. So that's cool, actually. Um, and he died. There we go. And maybe a free crossbow. I don't know why he blamed me for whatever happened to his feathered friends. I had nothing at all to do with it. Uh, that may have dropped lava on a place that I could care about, but I don't think it did. Nope. Um, so, I'll avenge my feathered friends. I hope that means that perhaps they got- Dude, could you please just, like, be tamed? Don't fire at my hamster. Uh, 
I hope that means the turkeys got cooked and I can just eat them without any extra efforts. Watch out, there's a skeleton coming behind you. He walked right by you. Right, and I'm still doing a thing where I... Okay, I'm fireproof right now. It's fine. Um, yeah, okay, you're gonna go down. That's fine. Uh, stuff. You know, stuff. Stuff's happening. Uh, cook turkey, cook turkey, ropes. Great. I'm still doing a run where I do want to acquire Hoyi's bow and leave it with the one who waddles. I'll take your crossbow, I guess, for a moment. Won't really do much with it, but I'll take it. Uh, uh, that jump's possible. A lot harder to do than... Oh, hey, check it out. I can do... I can do a thing here. Use this property of the crossbow I never use. That's actually pretty neat. Alright, spare turkey. Might as well get extra health, because it's a good idea. Oh, here I am interacting with the level again. This is a mistake. Uh, but now that I've done it, um, I guess I'm going to keep doing it. Alright, you burn that. And burn that too. Let's go. Okay, I've interacted with Venhorsing. That's all I need for this. Uh, sure, I'll put that in my hand, I guess, because I have nothing else at the moment. So yeah, only real interest in uh, things to find is just altars and yeah, moon challenge too, I guess. I do want one of those. I have fire breath. I really don't need this torch. All right, moon challenge. Let's go fast. Be sure to get the... Whoa. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I do not have spectacles. That's a crate, I think. Worth going for. As long as it doesn't use too much Maddox to get to the bow. I don't off the top of my head know the shape of this level. Okay, not having located the bow yet worries me a bit. It's there. Got it. Okay, great. Okay, bow is open. I'll come back for it when I'm done digging. Uh, yeah, no way to do that directly, but that's fine. Hey! So, that vault's totally open. Um, I'm not interested in it. And Tun would get angry if I disturbed that wood up there, I'm pretty sure. But I could, like, bomb the ceiling here and get at that vault. Eh, no, 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 no. Too risky, and I have no real interest in the vault's money. I've looted vaults before. So I know what the experience is like, and I know what it's worth, and it's not worth anything to me at the moment. Hey. Right. But it is kind of fun when they generate like that, and can be reached from another angle. Okay, so the screen stops scrolling there, so that's the bottom of the level. Yeah. Right, and this is not... right, yeah, so that means this is not Vlad's level. So I can mostly just go. Something exploded. Oh dear. Um, that's fine. Okay, so I know the exit is this way. Just because of the layout. Is this Vlad's level? Probably. Yep, sure is. I'm fireproof. You don't scare me. Lava right in the path of the drill, of course. It would be. That's just how it is. Uh, fireproof is not lava-proof. Lava is much hotter than just plain old fire. Uh, I will have a cape shortly. I kind of wish I had one now for this descent to make it less scary, but... It'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. That's not... Go okay, that's still dripping. Gonna give it a minute. You can shoot fire at me, but I don't have to be afraid. Got really no other tasks to do in this level, though, so I just kind of want to be down there. Um, it's still dripping. Are you done yet? No, you're not. Okay, so there will be lava at the bottom. I'm going to have to just ditch this dog, um, and much as I'd like to have it with me, just, just go. 
There's another dog for me down here. Neat. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. Because it's not in a... Yeah, spot's too precarious to tame there. I don't want this bow with me in here. Uh, why not? It's a fine weapon. Because uh, I might drop the arrow in the... Well, it doesn't matter. All I need is the bow. Sun Challenge provides its own arrow. Yeah, I might have to fight some vampires, and this is a fine weapon for that. The way Van Horsing wields it is somehow a lot better than I can, because if I shoot a vampire or a Vlad, they don't die right away. But when he does, they do. This place has turned into such a nothing. Like, this castle was a big deal the first time I ever got to it, but it's just like, it's exactly the same every time I get here now, and I just do this procedure, go through the motions. Doesn't feel special anymore. I'm not even going to give you back your arrow today. Like I usually do, for no real reason. Alright, you. Uh. Oh, that does kill them instantly! So it has nothing to do with Van Horsing, it's just they are weak to the arrow element. Neat. I got a Chaos Ball with me. Um, alright. I guess that's not a problem specifically for what I'm doing right now. I'll just leave him to do whatever he's gonna do. Um, I'll pass on that rock dog, let's just go. Maybe I'll run into an altar and he'll be worth it. Yes! Check it out! Isn't that lucky? Okay, so don't die to this caveman, please. Thanks. Uh, well, I'm down here now. That's fine. Double sacrifice! Cool. So, by my understanding of the point system, I currently have... How many? Um, five points. Four for the hired hand, one for the caveman dead. So that put me at 11... I mean, 13... Three more to go for a Kapala. So if I can find a dead shopkeeper, that would be perfect. A live caveman would get me one off. I have spike shoes, so I want to hit you from this side to have any chance of getting you alive there. Which is absolutely possible. Neat. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't understand the point system still. Because I haven't interacted with her already this round, I'm pretty sure. So I must have had six points at the time that I sacrificed the Hired Hand and the Caveman. It could have been seven, so perhaps Live Hired Hand is worth six rather than four. Okay, learning things. Useful. You, go away. You're gonna make a lava flood. You didn't. Neat. I was wrong. Oh boy, why, why am I being so dangerous around this stuff? Alright, I'll just take that hit, because the other hits were too dangerous to take. Watch out, shop man. Magmar coming. I was kind of hoping you'd die from that, and then I could take your stuff. But I'll be nice and buy it, because what do I need money for? I'll buy spectacles, I'll buy... Sure, pitcher's mitt, and yes, ropes. These are discount goods. Is this because he shot them? Those cost less than usual... No, it's because of the crown. It's because of the crown. Check it out. Welcome, your highness. Do you see anything of interest? I think it's because of the crown. So... Going to... So, for, like, money runs, if I were doing a daily challenge and caring about score for some reason, uh... Volcana's actually an interesting route because it gives me an item that discounts shops. The headjet doesn't do that. That is a difference between headjet and crown. So shop discount happens with crown only. Assuming I'm seeing that right, I'm pretty sure I am. So you lose the opportunity to kill all the shopkeepers of the black market and get their coins. Like, score-wise, that's why that would matter. Oh, dear, that crate and dog are like... Very unfortunately placed. I think I just won't have those things. Do 
21 ropes. Let's see if I... Ah, I wish I had paste. Um, is there some way I can turn this set of power-ups into... You know what? I don't care that much about the crates. Let's not bother. It's fine. It's just one crate. It could have paste in it. It could have a parachute in it. It could have ropes in it at the point where I don't need any more. It could have a bomb box. It could have a plasma cannon. Could be anything. But it's a pain to get, so I'm not gonna. Okay, so let me not manage to die to Olmec somehow, like I've managed to do so often recently, for no good reason. I have a very consistent pattern for killing him, and if I don't deviate from it, it should be pretty much completely safe. things that could go wrong here. I could miss my whip and only hit one of his uh, things on the bottom. Um, that's pretty much it. Not much else should go wrong here. I want you slightly to the right of where you are right now. Maybe a little bit more. That'll do. Yeah, okay, this is the pattern I like. Exactly like this. Stomp on the UFO as soon as it pops out. Push it left. And it always does that. All right, so I do have a 100% consistent pattern for Olmec 3 now. Yeah, the only execution difficulty is stomping on the right UFO so that it goes left. If it goes right, the explosion happens in a different place and it changes the pattern. I always want that to go left, but that is my Olmec 3 pattern. Always gets me to a good door and is pretty darn safe. Ideal for what I'm doing here. Okay, I didn't manage to die to Olmec. That's good. A Yang died. Um, I don't know of any other encounters I would meet him at unless I went to the tide pool right now, so I don't think that matters for the rest of the run. I have a Kapala? That's right, I have a Kapala! Wow. Thanks for reminding me. I completely forgot that I had. I'm so used to getting to this point without having found one yet. Cool, okay, this run's fine. Pace to be nice, uh, especially for Hundun. Um, this route gets me a plasma cannon, which I intend to use on him, so paste is not as important. I'll use it on Tiamat too along the way. No, I won't. I won't have it there. On that screen, I'll just have a Chilin. Okay, so I probably just won't fight Tiamat. If I don't have to, why would I? All right, so I'm losing my cape, and I do not currently have spring shoes or climbing gloves. Yuck. Unfortunate. I only have ten bombs, and I'm going to use two of them here. Unfortunate. It would take another to find out what's in that crate. I'm going to say with the probability of it being more bombs, probabilistically speaking, that is not worth the risk. So I'll just leave that there and... What, hope I run into more bombs later? Hope 8 is enough? It's not impossible that 8 could be enough for the rest of the run, but it's very unlikely. Like, I expect to need at least about 20 going into Sunken City to feel good about it. If I had 40, then I would worry about absolutely nothing. If I have less than 10, then I'm very worried. And there's Anubis. Always manages to be kind of more of a problem than I want him to be. I do have spike shoes. Okay, great. So spike shoes are my Anubis weapon. That is no problem. There's Van Horsing. Uh, why do I want to break this pot so much? I don't need to. Don't break pots. It's a bad plan. Bad idea. Okay, if you're up there, I'm just going to come this way, I suppose. Push blocks, I mean, uh, crush traps, a little bit of a pain, but I can deal with it. In fact, I don't have to go back that way, because there's another way down. Currently, I am not cursed. Or poisoned. You are poisoned. Uh, <laughs> I hid in the door, I saw what was happening, and I reacted just in time. If I wait, she'll die. If I wait, the ghost will come. So I'm gonna throw my cat at her. Uh, stomp, 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 shoot. <sighs> I 
And now there's nothing to do, right? Like, do I have literally anything to do here? Be criminal and see the giant shopkeeper? Oh, well, that solved that problem. Great. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, not waste the entire rest of my evening trying to reproduce what happened here and getting a bit farther. And just accepting that that's what happened today. I think I learned, like, one new thing, and I'm just going to have to be okay with that. This is a hard game to let's play. I knew it would be, but, like... Man. Like, this is what I expected, so why am I surprised by it? <laughs> How can you expect something and be surprised by it at the same time? I don't know. <sighs> Someday I'll have better luck, I guess. I'll see you then.